told you I'm currently shooting a darling video. Let me show you all my hair. It's cute, it's so cute. Same on this side. I just did it last night, as you know. So I got some fuel for my gen. That's another bill. I think we've spoken about this. But anyway, um, today I have a shoot with Victoni. Um, what else do I have to do? I'm meeting up with one of my girlies from Dubai. She just came in the country not too long ago yeah like i just want to shoot this darling ad and kind of like just you know do the best i feel like so far it's looking really good i'm super grateful for that so i just want to keep up that energy of it looking fucking good Looking so cute today. Per yeah. <laughs> to be say hi to my vlog, Joe. Hi guys, Francis is going to be on my YouTube today. Guys, this has taken us like 17 years. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> Say 17 years. What to finally shoot? I know. I like this. Yeah, it's definitely bright. You see, if it was phone now, the light would have just lighted immediately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is Francis's first time in my house. I know. It's actually my first time. I know, and how old is he? He's 12. That's his <laughs> But I was wondering what to do with Gen Z. Mm -hmm. So I said Gen Z a girl, which mm -hmm. applies to you guys. Hey besties, what up? Look at me enjoying my braids. Yes, I don't know what this little girl 
I don't know how she go here, but she she here. Anyway, I'm off to do my brows for the first time ever. I've never done my brows, like um anything, any procedure on my brows. So today I actually wanted ombre brows, but the brow tech recommended what's it called? What's it called again? What's it called again? micro shading so i'm going to micro shade my brows if that's how they say it i guess that's how they say it and i'll take you all with me i have to go all the way to Kedja. lord jesus lord jesus the appointment is for 2 30 it's currently what time is it 1 37 so the map says i'm gonna get there in like 47 minutes so yeah let's go i really like to be on time so i hope i get there like right on, like on time like on time god please let it come out nice let the shape be great let everything just be amazing i just wanted to look fucking good let me have the jello fries there take out do you have coleslaw do you have coleslaw uh then i'll have fried rice i wanna go high just wanna go high but you keep pulling me down feels like we are crying apart before we start i'll mark it out for you so you confirm the brow shape before we start but this one is just a normal so it will be like overly dark and like you know, Oh, the ombre is too dark or too dark? So like, why do you have to know? Yeah, so to reduce the pain. Oh, there's, there's gonna be pain. Oh my god, no one has spoken about that. I don't know what to say. I don't have time. Wifey. Um, apologies. Thank you. There we go. Yeah, sure. If it's Dior. <laughs> It's alright. Oh more this sponge I got is so rubbish. I want a better one. The one I got is too tight. It's like too tight. I want the freer one. I had this one that was so free. Okay. How much is this too? Why is everything so like what's this? Like I'll get the smaller one. Oh actually the bigger one so it can last longer, right? My arm from holding this bag. What? <laughs> just for this fucking, just for this fucking detergent. No, yeah, you can. Small breeze, oh. A small breeze. Hey, besties. I don't even know how I look right now, but honestly, absolutely, I don't care. Got this big ass fucking pimple on my forehead. Then except for that people don't really tell you the healing process my ac is on the sun is gonna be bad fuck the weather has been so hot today so yeah as i was saying people don't really tell you the healing process of the eyebrows like eyebrow <laughs> because like 
first off it hurts it feels like you getting a tattoo because it actually hurts there are needles that are gonna be pricked into your brows i meant to put if you notice it's kind of shiny because like i put a gel on it like two times a day so that's like morning and night so they gave me this product that i put on it yeah like i went to take off my nails today look at that i just miss looking at my natural nails to be honest like when i was doing my skincare it just felt so good oh by the way when you do your brows the micro what the fuck is like what is happening when you do your brows the micro shading micro blading ombre whatever you decide to do combo you can't it's like doing lashes you so you can't actually wash your face for like 48 hours that's what she told me but she told me that it's gonna take two weeks to dry two weeks to heal so i really feel like it's like getting a tattoo because it hurts like that what else i ordered from yellow plate yesterday and um the food came first off this customer service is really bad this is not the first time i'm ordering from them i ordered from them when i was in abuja if you guys remember i had the video of the milkshake it took so long to come but the customer service was better you know but this one like in lagos like it's just so bad like it's like as if i'm begging them like as if i'm begging them to take my order like jiggle i'm calling you you're not picking up i'm texting you you're not responding i don't like people that stress me when i'm spending my money i just don't like it but regardless i'm hot as fuck the weather has been so hot I want to travel. I need to travel. I'm tired. I was going to get my lashes done today, but because of my brows, I said just wait a bit. Then I'll, I'm getting my lashes and my nails done on Wednesday, so that's good. <laughs> hey besties um i'm literally about to go to bed and i just want us to talk about something this is not something easy to talk about at all but right now it's monday it's the beginning of the week and i got this news my friend sent me my friend sent me this news from a vlog and i'm sorry like i don't know you know it's easier to text stuff and say your thoughts but when to actually say it and it's like someone's life on the line it's it's not as easy as someone that has been through abuse before as someone that has been in an abusive relationship i understand like i understand when people experience some certain level of abuse and they like they either make excuses for it or you love the person too much or you're just so attached and you end up being like this person is actually a good person like they are not always like this but it gets worse i don't i can't count how many people have messaged me about their boyfriends being abusive I can't count this is not a video this is not i'm not talking about just men being abusive i'm also talking about female being a being abusive because it works both genders but on my end obviously i have more females that follow me literally just this is monday literally just on sunday i think on saturday night someone messaged me and they were like francis i really need to talk to you on snapchat and like my mind was just like reply this person literally like my brain was just like you have to talk to this girl and then i texted her and i was like hey um what's wrong are you okay and she just wrote so many things about her man and how the guy's abusive and he, she's like oh no he has he has never really been abusive he'll just seize my phone he'll just slap me he'll just... i remember i sent her a voice note and i was like babe 
it will only get worse because you've been with this person for so long you feel like you're going to marry them you feel like that's how i felt i saw this person as my husband that's how i felt but like i just realized that no god loves me too much to put me in a situation or to let someone that already abuses me in a relationship to then be the person i'll marry god loves me too much so now we still ask ourselves that do you know there's better out there do you know that when you leave that situation you can help other people like when i talk about stuff and people are like oh my god i really love the advice you say it's not because like i read one book and i'm just like oh yeah philosophy is like it's because i've gone through it i wouldn't speak of something i have not gone through and it hurts because when even if as their friends people are going to be like oh my god don't have friend talk to her okay why isn't her the, the person's friend involved won't the person's friend drag you out like in a position whereby you're being abused the friends are even trying to pull you away from it you're going to start to resent them so what you're going to start doing is trauma bonding with the person abusing you and you're going to start to resent the people that try and drag you drag you away from that either friends family whatever and you're going to pull away from them and you're going to push them away and obviously as human beings they have their own thing going on they can try and try and try but when you start to resent them because they're trying to be good to you what do you want them to do i'm not talking about the situation that happened this really terrible situation that happened i'm talking about abuse itself i'm saying that please please even a man that can scream at you. Have you been this when a man is screaming? When you fight, he uses abusive words. Or she uses abusive words. That's already abuse. That's verbal abuse. The things my abusive ex used to tell me, I still remember it till date. I had to heal from it. I had to tell myself that everything he said to me was out of his own spite, his own life, his own tragedy and he had nothing to do with me that was his insecurity but do you know how many years it's taking me to be at this point if anything use me as an example because god made me go through it to be an example it should be very detrimental to 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 god's intention in my life to not be able to come and tell you guys this i made a video I think last year about physical abuse actually in that video i spoke about everything i went through and i couldn't post it i wish i had the courage to i i really wish i had the courage, but I, I couldn't something i just couldn't talk about people coming out to talk about it is hard and i need you guys to have more compassion like i need you guys to have more compassion to people going through stuff i'm so sorry like i'm going through the comments and i'm seeing a lot of bad things like she's dead i'm so sorry i'm so i'm you guys i'm so sorry i literally promised i was not going to get emotional i'm so sorry have more compassion for people going through stuff you're gonna make it sound like it couldn't be it couldn't be you but it could easily be you it could easily be me it could easily be anyone else so while you go about judging and making them like the act has happened so why you go about judging things are, are you who are you helping you're not helping your family you're not helping the dead you're not helping yourself because you're projecting a lot of negativity to people that need to heal genuinely like when things happen let's let's teach other people that this is not the way like let's be the ones to say if you're in this situation go i guys you don't know how firsthand like how many times i get messages of people saying their boyfriend did this their bo and obviously like i said it's not just about male like you know some people posted and they were like um guys guys need to fix up like good guys are out there good guys are out there i never believed it i had really bad daddy issues i would cling to anything that showed me love i used to be like that and if i didn't leave if i didn't leave i wouldn't have my life wouldn't have changed I would have probably gotten pregnant for this guy. I would have probably just ended up being, he'll be in my life forever. And then, and then for what? 
to what reason i know it's hard i know it's trust me i know but it gets easier and the more you take that step to detach the more you actually you actually believe that god got you so strongly i promise you i promise you on everything that is going to get better your life is going to change i promise you it's not about you you're not the reason why they're doing it it's them and so they have to work on that please i know it's hard trust me i know it's hard i know it's hard i know you leave and you can still go back i know it's hard but i'm telling you that it's possible and whatever whatever that person's role is in your life god is going to multiply it god is going to give you your dream god loves you too much god loves you too much but god is not going to he's not going to drag you away he's not going to he's not the type if if god was a type to just force people to do things everybody would be christian everybody would have given their life to god that's not the god we serve God is going to constantly show you signs of what you're meant to do. You just have to follow it. You just have to be aligned with what God is. And I know sometimes it's like, how do I hear God? How do I hear God? Give your life to Christ, firstly. And after that, study the Bible. Pray to God. Talk to God. He's your friend. He's your person. You don't have to kneel down all the time. Me, I always love kneeling down. But even random times i just pray to god because i know he's my person when things are not going my way i i literally i feel like god is literally like always with me because when things are not going my way it's like i'm talking to myself and i ask myself do you trust me but the me i'm talking about is not me the me that i'm talking about is god it is do you trust me and i know at that point it's not me talking that's god but it's with my own thoughts because we're made from the image of God, the image and likeness. So God and us were not separate. You and God are not separate. Stop saying God as he's far away. He's within you. He's in you. He's the reason you wake up so you can speak to him. He's your friend. You can speak to him. Speak to him. Talk to him every single time. Like even when I do stuff and people are like, oh my God, like, wow like you're so confident they don't know how many times i pray i'm like god i need courage i need courage god i want to do this i don't know how i need courage i'm shaking anxiety i'm nervous i'm like god i'm about to walk into this room i don't know and i pray and i'm like god i just need your courage and god is going to always give it to you ask god for the courage to leave it's not in your power but you need to talk to god you need to bring him into your situation and say god i don't want this for myself I know you love me. You've brought me this far. You didn't bring me this far for me to be in this situation. God, I'm too good for this. You need to speak to God. And honestly, I pray he gives you the courage to step away. And we should be honestly less judgmental to people. We need to stop judging. We need to stop judging. We need to stop judging. Who are you to judge someone else? If someone is in an abusive situation, stop making it about money. Stop it. There are different ways to get money. Most of the time it's love. It's genuine love and attachment and trauma bonding and stuff. And yeah, the money is there, but the money might also not be there. So let's stop making it about money. Let's stop it. Let's stop judging young girls that go through it and then people you end up you end up seeing them and they're like they got bullied why because there are people are saying that they stay with the person for money what is that we need to stop it when you see people you try to help try to be a reason why other people can come out people cannot come out because there are people that are going to always say negative stuff please anyway this is the end of the video um it wasn't even meant to end like this, but I just really had to get this off my chest. Anyway, yeah. Bye, besties.